Welcome folks to MJ Tabletop Creations and Games. Today we have an unboxing for you uh, for uh, Ghost Archipelago Miniatures. So mm -hmm. we have Snake Men. Snake Men. Here you go. Mm -hmm. And we have Tribals. Awesome. So that's going to be pretty interesting. So now let's go check out yeah. what these boxes have. All right. All right. So the, here is the Tribals box from Ghost Archipelago. See? And Julie's going to open them up. Okay. And let's see what we got. What do we have here? Oh, a ton, a ton of plastic. Yeah. You can move that a little oh, bit that sure, way. Yeah. All right. Like that. Now, I already started a sprue. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to put that aside. There you you get uh, five sprues. Mm -hmm. I'm Wait, sorry, no, four, four sprues. Four. Yeah. Four sprues with five uh, miniatures right. in each sprue. Right. So let's just look. All of your variation is in one sprue. Mm hmm very much like all the rest of the right. kits that I've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said they have masks, right? These are the masks that come separate. Yes. They're tribal the, masks. These little uh, pieces you see here are tribal masks. Okay, right here. Mm -hmm. So those are little tribal masks and they're very, very small. Okay, I'm trying to get uh, as much detail as possible for you guys. There's are like they difficult to put together? Well, uh, because the pieces are so small, like these tribal masks, uh, we turn them around, mm -hmm. you see the, the face slit uh, fits yeah, right into that, that slit. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not too bad, but you're going to have to be patient and, I don't know, take out your tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can kind of see the faces on the tribal masks. And um, the bodies are one complete torso. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, this is just trying to show a little bit of the variation in poses. So uh, when you uh, mix and match, you'll have enough variation that um, you get a lot of cool figures right. out of this. Now, here is a blowgun. Okay. You got a blowgun. You got like a very uh, primitive knife. Mm -hmm. You got like an axe weapon here. What um, is this? This yeah. here is a shield. Oh, okay. It's a wicker shield. I see. And if you look, what's interesting is... Oh, okay, now I can see it better. Then. These do not have the little hole. Right, no, you're right, for the hand. Like yeah, the for ones. the hand, yeah, like right. the other ones. So they still fit very well, but uh, it's just a little strange. And then these are all the heads. Some of them have feathers, so I would use as like chiefs. Um, you know, and some of them don't. Some of them have like mohawks. Pretty cool. Let me turn this because I have them upside down and people are not going to be able to really did you do that again yeah I did that again no these are that's upside down there you down. go no, no the heads the heads oh, are these, fine oh these they're different yeah it's, okay I see now okay gotcha so yeah um there we go so there's a little bit of the variation in the heads mm -hmm. and uh, again I'm trying to get this focused um it's having a little bit of problem today focusing but there we go Okay, so you get an idea of what the uh, heads are like. All right. Mm -hmm. And this one has the face mask. You see how it fits on there? Right. I see the shield too that I was pointing Yeah, out. the wicker yeah. shield. Yeah, I like that. And uh, these are very small uh, miniatures. They really are. Yeah. They look smaller than 28 millimeter to me. Yeah, that's scale is like that, uh, what they call scale creep. Uh, you know, these are 28 millimeter miniatures, but they're, they're on the small side. And here, now that you mentioned that, mm -hmm. I want to compare with a Frostgrave Knoll. Yeah, and the Knoll is bigger. Yeah. And that's okay, because it's a creature. Right. But, you know, I guess these are, you know, these are tribals, and right. so, it, you know. They're cool miniatures, though. Yeah, and then this is a dwarf. Look how yeah. stocky that dwarf yeah. looks compared to that tribal. Right. Okay. So they're a bit small. He's still a little bit taller. That's okay, though. Yeah. But they're very cool minis. They um, really are. Really cool. And I love that they're so different. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of got that, you know, uh, real real tribal feel to them. Yeah. Yeah. They and are different. I like them. So I really like them. All right. So that concludes our tribals. Yep. And they come with round bases. Mm -hmm. So we can put that back. Okay. All right, so Julie has the Snake Men. Mm -hmm. These are cool little buggers. Yeah, and, and these we're definitely going to need for uh, the game. You can open them up. Okay. 
So Julie will just open them up. And again, I used one of the sprues so I can show you. Look at all that plastic. So how many this sprues? This is the sprue that you so, use then? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I so used. So it's four sprues. Four sprues mm -hmm. and five figures. Now for snake men, you're going to be doing a little bit of work because you have the legs here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here are the heads of the snake men. You get uh, quite a few different uh, heads, a lot of them with their mouths open. But here's the body. Right. So you're going to have to connect body and, and legs. Wow. Okay. It's so, a lot more in, in detail. Right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. And, um, but you know, it's cool because it, it allows for cool posing. Right. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You know, and then here is uh, the shields. They look very Romanesque. Mm-hmm. Uh, more heads. I love these snake heads. Mm -hmm. Good detail on the snake yeah. heads. Scales, good scale work. And, and a wide variety of weapons. You have bows. Uh, you have these crooked uh, swords and spears. A yeah, crossbow. Okay, and it looks like you have some heavy weapons, like some axes here. Okay, so uh, and there's some uh, with the heads, uh, the, the mouths closed. Some of the snake men. Mm. So good variety of heads. And that's going to give you a lot of variation. And again, this is very standard with this company. All your variants come in one sprue. And then all the other sprues are duplicates of this one. Right. So, and you're getting 20 of these guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just show the bases. And these are all hard plastic. So very nice, durable plastic. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you... Some of the uh, Look ones. Look at how cool they are. Yeah, they're they really, really cool. They really are. They really are cool. Yeah. I'm they're just going to try and get it focused. The there we go. This is the one I liked. All right. So again, I'm trying to get this focused, but you guys get an idea. All right, here it is. And if I, you could hand me another one, just keep handing them to me. Mm -hmm. um, here is one with a crossbow. Wait, that's not. Okay, so you see how, how they go together and they're very Ooh. like hunchbacked and... This is so... Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were handing it to me. Okay. This is a really cool one too. All right, and then uh, Julie's passing them to me. These are the ones I've put together just to show you guys. So again, you're going to have a good um, posability because of all the different parts. Mm -hmm. And there you go. There you go. Now you have a nice view of that open mouth with the tongue out. And these will go very well in, uh, in other games sure, as well. Sure, yeah. yeah. All right. And I'm going to show you guys a conversion that I did. And I took the body of, if you can move that box. Of course. I, I took the body of a, no, uh, the, of a snake man. Okay. Body of a snake man. The head of a knoll. And I took a look, an arm of one of the goblin uh, sprues that I had left. And I made this uh, like wizard knoll. <laughs> <laughs> and he's very hunched back. So, I you know, this it. is the snake man's body. Yeah, that is terrific. And this, and this is also snake man's body. What a great idea. That's why conversions are so cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I love about these kits yeah. is they make it so easy for you to convert. So this is a Noel Shaman or something. It's and, awesome. I love and it. And I put the head of a goblin on, on his... <laughs> of course. Uh, on his... Uh, <laughs> Not complete without the head of a goblin. <laughs> on his staff. <laughs> on his staff, yeah. Yeah, so I'll be painting this guy, and I have a nice little Noel wizard uh, just by kit bashing. Awesome. So That's I'll terrific. put that away. Mm -hmm. And one more snake man. We'll show one with a heavy uh, weapon. There you go. Look at that guy. That's pretty cool, too. Yeah. Very nice scale work on these minis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Let me give you a sense of, of size. Here is a uh, Oathmark Dwarf. Uh huh. So those are a little bigger. Yeah, Lizardmen are definitely a little beefier. Right. And here is a Frostgrave Knoll. Right. Okay. So there now you go. What, what about up against the uh, The tribals? Guy. Yeah. Yeah, they're, 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 those tribals are pretty they're small. They're small, yeah, yeah. But, they, but I like them a lot. Yeah, they're absolutely. Really cool. They're very, very cool. So, yes. And I'm loving those little head masks. Now, you know, they're optional too, you know, mm -hmm. which um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them on my chiefs. Mm-hmm.
a, a brief unboxing for you mm -hmm. guys. You know, this is Ghost Archipelago. Archipelago. Next week is going to be our week for playing Ghost Archipelago. It's uh, Ghost Archipelago Spotlight. Mm -hmm. And yep. so busy our this week. Game. Yep. The, our week. Just game, game in the spotlight. Spotlight yeah. game, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We we're uh, now um, we just finished Oathmark. Right. And uh, we're gearing up for Ghost Archipelago. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the tables. We're painting and miniatures. It's amazing. <laughs> that table is so cool. I can't wait to. Play I'll be on giving it. some updates on the table oh where my we are. Wait till you see this table. It <laughs> is incredible. Well, it's been a lot of work mm. and uh, definitely a lot of fun. So uh, there go the minis. You get twenty. Um, multi-part minis in each kit and they're mm -hmm. all hard plastic so nice durable plastic nice detail mm -hmm. um, how about putting them together were they difficult to put together yeah for some for some things uh not so much difficult you have to be patient mm -hmm. like with those little masks they're so tiny you have to file things down a little bit mm -hmm. right because you are going to have to do some cleaning with this with these kits guys mm -hmm. you're gonna have to cut off the little right. plastic bumps and mm -hmm. when you cut them off the sprue mm -hmm. and file things down and yeah it was tricky to get that mask yeah, filed i'm sure you know mm -hmm. and then uh, if you're going to use the masks then they go right on you know right, right on the face <laughs> <laughs> but it is tricky because if the glue doesn't hold right away the mask is going to shift right, and sure. you have to be patient mm -hmm. with them but well that's why i don't do it <laughs> she yes. gets all the ones that i, I make and then yes. she Base paint. Do not That's have pati the patience. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nor like the dexterity, but still the patience. Yeah. There's no way. Well, all right, folks. Well, that was our take on Ghost Archipelago, yep. Snake Men, and Tribals. Um, I do recommend North Star Military Miniatures. Mm -hmm. You can use them in a wide variety of games. And of course, you can use them to play Ghost Archipelago or Oathmark, or whatever you prefer. Whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, guys. We'll talk very soon, and we will update you guys on where we are later in the week.